the star, come on, Marty, co-star of Madagascar. You're in for a crack of lagging good time. But first, you gotta meet my zoo mates. It's showtime. Hey there, baby cakes. I feel nauseous. Skipper here. By now, you've probably heard that we busted clean out of the Central Park Zoo and ended up on the island of Madagascar. And let me tell you something. This ain't no walk in the park here, no siree. Anyway, the word is out about our little getaway, so we're looking for recruits to help other zoosters catch up on the wild, you know what I'm saying? So zip up your jungle gear and get ready to earn your stripes, because we're up to Melman's neck in wildlife trivia. Skipper, little help here, buddy. Choose play to begin the game. Who picks a lizard as a token? Whatever, you're up. But what are they? Mongooses. Ermines. Genins. Badgers. Badgers? These are ring-tailed mongooses, and I really want to give them a hug. Hey, Chiefy. Jilly, buddy. It's your turn. black and white animals home. Well, it's a skunk. I'm gonna say a den. Skunks live in dens. And if you think your place ever smells a little funky, you don't even want to know about these homes. Phew! Yeah. Hey, Chimpy, Bonzo, whatever. Stop staring at your belly button, you're up. If you're unlucky enough to run into a group of these creatures, you may receive over 200 stings. Is this for real? This is for real. Thimble jellyfish may be puny, but they still pack a powerful punch. Er, sting. Youch! Yeah. You're up, baby face. Pronto style. is a puff adder. It gets its name because it makes a hissing or puffing noise when it's sleeping, moving, eating, disturbed. If you're near one of these snakes when it starts to hiss or puff, start apologizing, offer to take it to dinner, and back away slowly because it's one riled up reptile. Oh, yeah. Who picks a lizard as a token? Whatever, you're up. Can Dylan ask? I don't know. 
know. But can you solve this word puzzle to find the name of this cat? but a little on the slow side, don't you think? Psst, Julie, are you really a primate? Whatever you are, it's your turn. Skip a spin. <laughs> My favorite part of the game. Every now and then you have to take the spin. Go ahead, click the red button. Jump forward two. Jump forward two. And for this, you owe me a spicy tuna roll. Capiche? No capiche. All chips on deck. You're up. Double nothing. Ladies and primates, lizards and lemurs, step right up for double or nothing. Answer this question correctly and you move ahead two stages. But the deal is, me and my boys are going to rig it up to be a little tougher. What do you say? Are you wild enough to risk it? Sure. Instead of digging their own burrows, warthogs often just use the abandoned homes of aardvarks. Is this for real? This is for real. What a bunch of moochers. Okay. Morty, baby, it's your turn. jumping beans they are so much fun to watch can you solve the word puzzle to find a secret about them hmm. But a little on the slow side, don't you think? I did that on purpose. Masakura, hop to it! is quite a show-off. It has a knack for imitating the shape, color, and even the movement of other creatures. What is it called? Copycatapus. Imposteropus. Echo-octopus. Mimic-octopus. Mimic? This is a mimic octopus. 
To protect itself from predators, it's been known to imitate several types of fish and sea snakes. Honey, I gotta admit, that's pretty impressive. That is impressive. Julian Palamine, it's your turn. Which of these is not a real kind of frog? African bullfrog, tomato frog, Australian silver frog, poison dart frog. I think this is the Australian silver frog. Let's see if I'm right. All of these are real except the Australian silver frog. <laughs> I bet no one was fooled by that. I'm a terrible liar. My voice quakes, my palms get sweaty, I get so paranoid. It's really no fun. Banana bread, get ready. word puzzle to find another luminescent name for the moon moth. and moon moths are one and the same. Wow, would you look at that? You got it, but a little on the slow side, don't you think? Moor, you're really a cat, right? It's your turn, kitty. Are you wild enough? You feeling lucky, chump? What is a large colony of these winged wonders called? A camp, a molder, a piston, a stew. A stew? Fruit bats get together in noisy groups called camps which keep the whole zoo up at night. Sheesh, can't they keep it down? I know, right? Although bats are nocturnal, which means they are awake at night. Okay, eyes odd fella, your turn. figure this one out. The word cheetah comes from a Hindu word meaning what? Spotted one. Speedy one. Hungry one. Tame one. Cheetah comes from a word meaning spotted one, which makes sense if you check out that fine looking coat. I thought it was speedy due to the fact that cheetahs run fast. Ahoy there, Jules! Wipe that smile off your face and get a move on! You're up! Are you wild enough? Not this time. Quick! Tell me, how long can a chimpanzee live? 10 to 15 years, 20 to 30 years, 40 to 50 years, 70 to 80 years. Huh. For some reason, I think it's 40 to 50. 
Chimps can live to be up to 40 years old in the wild or 50 years old in captivity. That's not taking into account diet, exercise, smoking, or drinking habits. Smoking. Okay, next. Mason, put your hands to good use. Grab the remote and get ready. joke that starts like this what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise a tortoise is on lean and the turtle is in water generally speaking people use the term tortoise if the creature lives on land and turtle if it doesn't finery I got it right Look. You're really a cat, right? It's your turn, kitty! Lucky for humans, this insect just loves eating mosquitoes. Is this for real? This is for real. Dragonflies like to eat mosquitoes almost as much as I like to eat steak. Well, almost. So that is a dragonfly. Okay, eyes odd fella. Your turn. Triple trail. It's everyone's favorite zebra again. Squirrel relative or not? Oh boy. Prairie dog. Pygmy rabbit. Chipmunk. I knew that for sure. Sweet. Three out of three. Buddy, are you gonna play or what? Primates. Are you wild enough? Again, no thank you. birds on a voyage was once considered bad luck by superstitious sailors. Is this for real? This is not for real. However, killing an albatross was a bad omen according to the poem The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Sheesh, I should hope so. Ever heard of karma? I heard of karma. I've never heard the story before. Hey Tarzan, drag your knuckles on deck and take your turn. Each March, thousands of sled teams run the Iditarod. Is this for real? Nope, this is not for real. Each year, about 75 teams of dogs and mushers run the Iditarod, and a handful of those don't even finish. Well, you know what they say, if you can't stand the cold, get out of the toboggan or something. I don't know. Toboggan? Look, you're really a cat, right? It's your turn, kitty. Stop monkeying around and listen to this. Are chimps apes? 
or monkeys? Apes. Chimps are apes, not monkeys. Lounge lizard. Grab the remote, you're up. Remember what astrological symbol is associated with this animal. Honey, can you help a hippo out? Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. Leo? The crab is the astrological symbol for Cancer. Hey baby, what's your sign? Don't know. Julian, buddy, are you going to play or what? Primates. Fight. A species of these lizards, the Komodo dragon, can only be found on which island nation? Indonesia. Komodo dragons can only be found on certain islands in Indonesia, and considering their nasty rep, I bet you're relieved. Yeah, I am. Mason, don't blow it. You're almost home. Are you wild enough? No, thank you. What you got? Solve the word puzzle to find a famous comic strip that starred a penguin named Opus. Oh boy. was in Bloom County, of course. I just love the comics. They're the best part of the newspaper. Oi, Faye! You know how to use tools, but you can't unscramble Mama's little puzzles? I have never heard of it. Smile and wave, Morty baby. You're on deck. Solve the word puzzle to find what this bird does to impress the lady. Dancing. A male sage grouse does an elaborate dance to show the ladies a good time. So, sagey baby, call me. I love to two-step. You speedy little devil, slide ahead too. Lounge lizard, grab the remote, you're up. Are you wild enough? Sure. Is that funny-looking red fleshy growth hanging over a wild turkey's beak called wibbly blat, blabber, snood, diddly do, brabble, 
the flap is called a snood. Now that's silly. Sounds like something Dr. Seuss thought up. <laughs> Stop your dancing for a few measly seconds and take your turn. Pronto. Are you wild enough? No, thank you. Whoa, what the? Doctor Muddy is in the house. Amphibian or reptile? Salamander. Oh. But there is. It's okay. Gecko. No. It was weird. They went to double or nothing to triple trail. Two out of three. Not bad. Send it, Frank. What would have happened if I said a sub and it did offer a triple trail as well? Do we could have done a force basis? I don't think that would happen. Or well, it could. Mason, don't blow it. You're almost home. Are you wild enough? Whoa! This one's a mouthful. This snake is ovoviviparous, which means that its eggs hatch where? I have no idea. The eggs of an ovoviviparous snake hatch inside the female's body. Oh, wow! Yeah. Can we take five after that? Many snakes are oviparous, which means they lay eggs which hatch outside the female's body. Okay. Furry face, little baby lemur guy. You're up. Are you wild enough? Sure. Is this a joke? This small primate makes eerie childlike screams. Is this for real? This is for real. Let me tell you, a bush baby screams can give you nightmares for weeks. I mean, you know, so I hear. Uh, next question. Lions lizard. Grab the remote, you're up. Are you wild enough? either Gloria or Gorgeous. These animals are usually called mountain goats, but another name for them is Rocky Mountain Goats, Adirondack Mountain Goats, Andes Mountain Goats, Appalachian Mountain Goats. Mountain goats are also called Rocky Mountain Goats, but they're actually found in the mountains from the northwestern United States to Alaska. Go figure. Yep. Ahoy there, Julian. Grab the remote and keep cruising for victory. What funky change happens to this animal's body when food is scarce? It loses its color. It becomes shorter. Its tail falls off. It becomes warm-blooded. When a marine iguana can't find enough food, it loses weight and it shrinks in length. Poor baby. Aww. Marine iguanas will grow longer again when food becomes readily available. That's good. 
Mason, don't blow it. You're almost home. Are you wild enough? Fine. A seal is the mascot of what city's pro baseball team? Oh, I have no idea. Blue Seal can be found dancing on the dugouts and razzing the umpires at San Francisco Giants games. Hey, Blue Seal, I just got it. <laughs> Furry face, little baby lemur guy. You're up. Okay, ready, set, showtime. This is the only bird known to perform a dance before mating. Is this for real? This is not for real. The rifle bird is not alone. Many birds perform unique dances to show off their feathers. Me? I just put a little gel in the mane, maybe some cologne, and I just play it cool. The ladies dig it. Leatherneck, front and center. Are you wild enough? Sure. Which of these is the main prey of the Canadian lynx? European mink, giraffe, <laughs> other lynx, snowshoe hare. I think Melman would be great as not giraffe. I think it's a European mink. Oh, okay then. It's not the giraffe. It's the snowshoe hare. <laughs> Whew, I feel so much better now. Ahoy there, Julian. Grab the remote and keep cruising for victory. These animals' babies are born without fur and with their eyes closed. Is this for real? This is not for real. Strangely enough, mountain hares are born clothed in Bermuda shorts and t-shirts. Okay, okay, that's a lie. But they are born with fur and their eyes open. Mason, don't blow it. You're almost home. Stipple spin. My favorite part of the game. Every now and then you have to take the spin. Go ahead, click the red button. Flop, backward, one. What do you expect from a psychotic bird? Back one. Kid, you're doing real good. Show me who's boss. Now, those are what I call rodents of unusual size. Shush! On what continent would you find these animals? Africa. These crazy critters are called capybaras, and they can only be found in South America. Okay. Leatherneck, front and center.
solve the word puzzle to find a disease that striped skunks are known to carry. A disease? Oh, whoa. That's for sure. Mine evil. Wow, would you look at that? You got it, but a little on the slow side, don't you think? What do you know? Julian of the Lemurs is on the ninth stage. Let's see what he's got. is smarty pants, but next to these guys, it's more like smarty shorts. What's the only other member of the giraffe family? Binturong. Okapi. Ostrich. Siamang. I know it's not ostrich. The Okapi is the giraffe's shorter sibling. Hey, Melman, hear that? Now you can check out your distant relative's medical history. Are you happy? Well, we have a winner. And the window is... Well, I'd say you succeeded, Julian. And no, I'm not smiling. It's gas. 